Well, students all over the planet are celebrating freedom today, and we're going to take you to some of those celebrations. We'll start at the Atlanta International School, and that's where we find CNN's Linda Kincaid. Uh, so, Linda, when you think about the fact that there are students, young people, children all over the world who are denied everyday freedoms, living in captivity, exploited, what are the students at Atlanta International School learning about, about just how privileged and just how fortunate they really are? Zane, what I have heard time and time again here at the Atlanta International School is that students are so surprised that this is not just a problem happening in some far off place on the other side of the world. This is an issue that's happening here in the United States, here in Atlanta. And My Freedom Day is obviously a major focus of this school. They've been part of this initiative. They helped launch it four years ago. And they focus on this issue all year round. I actually have a club, an anti-trafficking club that meets once a week during lunchtime, mind you, and I've got some of the students who are part of that club, and they're spending the day teaching other students and teachers about this very issue. So, firstly, just explain for us, Isabella, what you found most surprising about modern-day slavery. Um, I think what I found most surprising was the fact that, you know, it's kind of everywhere, right? And so a lot of the different products that you're consuming and buying are made with human trafficking and you're not really aware of it and it's just that awareness that I think is the most important. And Caleb, why did you join the anti-trafficking club and what have you learned? Um, I joined because I felt like it was one of the groups of the school that was really pushing to do something for good and actually had a real purpose and a mission and one of the things I learned when I first came to the group was you hear about traffic or human trafficking and things like modern day or slavery and you hear about it in the history, but you don't necessarily know a lot about it in the like, present day. And when hearing more about it in the present day made me realize how prevalent and how much it actually occurs in, in the base of modern day. And you students, so you guys are 17, you guys are 14, you've been speaking to other students about this issue, but Angela, you've been actually teaching the teachers. Yeah. What, did, what, did, what did they learn? What did you talk about today? Um, we talked a bit about human trafficking in general, just sort of the different types, labor trafficking, sex trafficking. Um, however, we try to really put an emphasis on the red flags, the psychological signs, the emotional signs, um, when that you can really see when someone is being trafficked, when someone is a victim. And then we try to really emphasize how you can help someone who's a victim. Uh, we try to underline really the human trafficking hotline, which is an incredibly important tool um, to really help teachers get help for their students even if they don't have physical evidence um, they can just call and say hey I think someone might be in danger based on these red flags that I've seen and it really is incredibly important in making sure that um, these students and these people who might be at risk really get the help that they need excellent and you guys Edith and Angeline you're 14 years old but you've been tasked with teaching the youngest students in the school how do you explain such a complex issue to such young kids well, we did it basically um, mostly question-based, so we asked them a lot of questions like what do you think this means and how would you feel if you didn't have this and why is it important? So basically we also focused on like the rights of a child and so we talked to them about the right to have a family and so basically we asked them questions and we asked them questions like how would you feel if you didn't have a family and I think they really felt it because all of them have families and they they like could connect with it. Excellent. So some pretty inspiring students here, Zane, trying to teach other students and teachers about this very important subject. Yeah, very resp thoughtful responses from those students there. So Linda, the WHO has just officially labeled the coronavirus a pandemic. Obviously, schools around the world are closed. Uh, it's impacted participation in CNN's My Freedom Day. Has there been any impact there where you are? Zane, here in Atlanta, 100 schools have been closed. They're closed right now. They closed yesterday after a teacher tested positive for the coronavirus. As you can see, the Atlanta International School remains open. They are planning to hold a community forum tonight where they'll have various panelists come. Typically, they get about 300 people attending, but they suspect that the numbers will be lower tonight. And, and you're actually organizing part of this, this panel, Angela. Did you consider canceling it? Um, 
Well, we did have to keep in mind that it is a bit of a health risk, just considering the amount of people that we're expecting to have there. Um, however, it's something that we've been planning for so long. It's an annual event, and it is so important um, in terms of getting these panelists to, to explain to people all these important uh, factors that relate to human trafficking. Um, so well, we'll see how it goes tonight, and I do understand that this will be live streamed as well online for people that do want to mm -hmm. avoid crowds, see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the impact of this virus continues to be vast and widespread. Linda Kincaid reporting for the Atlanta International School. Thank you so much. All right, still to come here on CNN's My Freedom Day special, how some battles for freedom have led to the sweet taste of success.